Welcome back! Before we get to this month's mission, I'd like to briefly break down my plans for the units I'll be using during this run. First up is Dimitri, a case study in how to be a broken unit without even trying. Dimitri gets access to Battalion Wrath at C Authority, followed by Battalion Vantage at A Authority. This takes the normal Vantage Wrath combo to a whole new extreme, not even requiring him to take damage for it to go into effect. One of the only things holding Dimitri back is his Axe Bane, making it more difficult to access classes such as Wyvern Rider and Wyvern Lord. Normally, I would suggest leaning into his Axe Bane based on the sheer power and mobility of those classes, but for the purposes of this run, I won't be doing that. Next up is Dudu. The problem with Dudu is that the things that make him great make other units even better. He gets Battalion Wrath at C Authority, Vengeance at C Plus Lances, but so does Bernadetta, and her personal ability is a lot better. On top of all of that, Dudu leaves the party right after Chapter 12, which makes his impact on the run a lot smaller. Thankfully, his big stats, excellent skill proficiencies, and link bonus with Dimitri will make him a vital part of our team. Happy Holidays from Felix Hugo Fraldarius. Dodge tanking is one of the strongest forms of enemy phase combat in Three Houses. The best dodge tanks have access to something like Battalion Wrath to boost their damage on enemy phase. Felix doesn't have access to Battalion Wrath, so he has to make up for that damage in raw stats. Felix is also one of the very few units with the raw stats to keep up with that all the way into the late game. Sylvain really only has one thing going for him, and that's the Swift Strikes combat art he learns at A Lances. This allows him to strike twice before the enemy can counterattack, usually allowing him to take out an enemy before taking any damage himself. This, combined with Wyvern Rider's mobility, makes him an excellent player phase unit. One of my favorite things to do with Ingrid is take her down the magic route. Since her strength and magic growths are equal, it doesn't make much sense to force her into a physical role when so many other units do it much better than she can. Her magic growth isn't great, but her low magic stat is often compensated by her high speed stat, allowing her to double enemies even into the late game. Her middling strength also helps her offset the weight of her spells. Annette is the premier wyvern lord of the Blue Lions. Her axe boon and authority boon and personal axe relic makes her a perfect candidate for this. Even as a physical unit, she gets access to Battalion Wrath, which makes her an excellent flying Vantage and Wrath bot. This, on top of her two different might supports, makes her an excellent combat unit. Mercedes isn't a great unit. Her best use is as a backpack for Annette. However, Mercedes is one of my favorite units, so she got a little bit of special treatment. While she still is just a generic mage, the Dark Knight class's offenses are not to be underestimated. Ash and Mercedes share the spot for the worst blue lion, which makes both of them the prime candidate for a dancer. I chose Ash for this role this run. Welcome to Chapter 1. Violet and Dimitri's deployment spells are mandatory and the other three are up to us. In my opinion, it's always correct to bring Felix, Annette, and Dudu. Annette supports the team with her rallies, and Felix and Dudu have the highest stats of her units so far. It is about time for the battle to begin. I'm sure you're ready. Stay focused. I'll go. I'll cut through. What should I do? Here goes! None of yours. Me? <sighs> Dorothy, you got it! Ferdinand? Leave it to <laughs> <laughs>
All of our units are going to do their best to take advantage of Violet's personal skill professor's guidance, which gives them a 1.2 times experience multiplier. Stay vigilant. Dimitri's personal skill does the same thing, but only applied to I've himself. Well done! After making your way past the first onslaught of enemies, you can slowly and leisurely take your time making your way up the left side of the map, but that's boring. Are you really? Big. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> 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 Be mindful. My limit. Thanks. Stay focused. I'll go. There can be no... After some shenanigans in the trade menu, the dude can take out Edelgard with fire. Once again, taking advantage of Professor's guidance. Not good enough. Forced to retreat. I am just... Stay vigilant. Oh! <laughs>
caution. That's that. The winner of this mock battle is the Blue Lion House. That's all I got for today. This we'll victory is the result of everyone's hard work. Thank you, my friends. You did well.